All right, we're back. Fucking annoying. Conversations about nothing always are. That's great. We're going to get to about halfway through their next one. Or it's no, it's actually the same fucking conversation. David Fuller just oh, had it? mercy upon the world and cut it in two. Um, and he waited like a several months oh, yeah. to put it out. So uh, we tried to watch the beginning of this on <laughs> That's stream. They were still having the conversation. <laughs> right. No, they, did, they actually didn't leave. <laughs> Uh, yeah they were still having the conversation months later so we tried to watch this before on stream and i think chat was just like what the fuck is this so we're gonna try this again and i think this is look demons and the machine i think we didn't get to the part where jonathan peugeot talks about demons so let's see if we get to that part any, any society has ever been able yes. to 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 impose on anyone yes. and so those two things strangely coexist together you can see it's a radicalization of a normal relationship let's say of something like freedom david's like busy blocking people on twitter right now uh, manifest itself in a normal <laughs> sometimes in a messy way and sometimes in a violent way but would, would would work itself out whereas now what we've got is in order to go in order to access the metaverse and to have access to absolute freedom to do whatever you want you have what to the fuck every they're talking about the metaverse the metaverse like does not give you a freedom it actually is a place where you are restricted in your activity <laughs> like, is that the are they talking about the facebook thing what are they talking about i don't know do you, you don't want to go back to the beginning and find out do you no <laughs> I'm going to assume that they're talking about the Facebook VR thing and let's just, you know, even if we're wrong, let's just, just assume it's that and not change our minds no matter what they say. Right. Because if somebody were to criticize us for, for uh, doing that, they're not like in the beauty. What was the word again? Fuck. I already forgot. <laughs> to this machine you have to be completely submitted to it you have to see you know everything about you is going to be owned by this thing and there's no way out of it and so it's like it's a it's it's 1984 and and brave new world at the same time like who thought that this would no, be actually the, is talking about the the metaverse the, the facebook thing <laughs> it's like second life they he forgot second life and the movie brazil though we're kind of seeing on the horizon where it's like it's absolute control like and when harry met sally but also okay this is excellent this a is a christmas story yeah he said the word horizon he's talking about facebook horizons on the oculus no, quest not, because he's not here yeah. to speak for him so so th there's now an issue uh, uh, an issue of almost finesse or virtuosity or nuance because you can't you can't be critical of this. This guy hasn't touched his glass of water in several months. That's what's wrong. He's dehydrated. <laughs> Having a life of its own aspect of this thing, right. because that's how it functions, right? So that can't well, be what Yeah, you I think the, the reason why they're doing, they're to have that aspect of the conversation is because one of the problems that we're seeing in this, in this type of discussion is that when you point- Is that it's too long and nobody says anything. Oh. People will say, <laughs> That's not possible because it requires a conspiracy, Again, a complete yeah, centralized yeah, conspiracy, yeah. and therefore what you're saying is false. And what Paul's no, 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 that's not, no, no. Things are possible if they require conspiracies. HK and I conspired today to stream. I mean, there have been legitimate conspiracies. MK Ultra. Like, like 9 the, 11 was a conspiracy. It's just not the one the conspiracy theorists think it was. <laughs> right? That's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, there are, there are legitimate examples of conspiracies in, in our past. Uh, and I'm sure there are going to be more in the future. There are so many of them that is actually a classification of crime is conspiracy. Like, the RICO Act was about racketeering and conspiracy yeah like it's it's not that you're suggesting that people are getting together to do bad things nobody thinks that people don't do that <laughs> like, <laughs> like what is a recipe about a conspiracy to make a salad i mean like what is a recipe but a conspiracy Fuck. to make potato I lost salad my sneeze what I lost my sneeze. Oh, that's. I, I thought maybe your shiny new noise noise gate just cut it out. <laughs> I wish. I'm saying does it require that? I can sh these self these self organizing systems exist. This is one of them. It's it's excessive. It's it's parasitic, 
And so, and I can describe it and say that it exists without, and you can't accuse me of saying it can't exist because it would require this insane, like absolute top-down hierarchy to, 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 to be cut. No, no, conspiracies don't require top-down hierarchies. There can be flat conspiracies where everyone has the same level of power and they still organize to fuck other people over. Like, or not, or to not fuck somebody over. You just, we'd be having a conspiracy to make a three bean salad. <laughs> There are certain conspiracies that I would say, like the requirements for that conspiracy are evidence that doesn't exist. Like the earth being flat. Or, like uh, that would require such an insane level of conspiracy among so many people across the world, people and governments across the world, that like I would say effectively that is impossible. Or like, Kendra's, what do we got here? Like that one too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just too many people. But it, 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 and when you say impossible, like you mean like so incredibly unlikely that we can just give it a zero probability because it's so close to zero probability that it's worthless to entertain the, the notion. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, well, yeah. the earth being flat is just false. Like, like it's, not yeah. even, it's not even really a conspiracy theory at this point it's just somebody believes something that is so not true now the cover-up that's the conspiracy theory yeah uh my my favorite argument from them is how come nasa doesn't just send a satellite up and take pictures of the earth then it's like there is a satellite that takes like 14 pictures a day and you can go on nasa's website and see them I think that argument is very well placed, and thank you for bringing it up. Like the, the the one of the things, and you and I have talked about this, right? Right. One of, one of the one of the damages of conspirituality is is its inability to see hyper objects and see hyper objects as self organizing entities that can, can have a collective intelligence and what? kind of a collective agency. And that's one of the big that that's one of the 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 the, 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 the really worrying. Uh, kinds of blindness that that can do and so I think that argument is well placed what but what let me try what, what, what I'm trying to say not for nothing that's the name conspirituality is the name of one of my favorite fucking podcasts those guys are great they're like former like former like crunchy yoga people who like are no they're like now skeptics and their show is so good they, <laughs> they talk a lot about like the yoga studio to QAnon pipeline and shit great show like the, the, the like, this is well. It's running on its own, and you're right. That needs people need, but that that's not it's that's not what's wrong with it. No, right, 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 right. And so what I think is not being said that there tr that needs to be on said every podcatcher. Trying. Yeah. Uh, I looked up what I'm talking about, and it's called the Epic no, Discover. No, they work better than I do. So I may be speaking satellite, and you can just Google Epic Discover NASA and. Find there you go, like 14 pictures every day. Evil. They're trying to get, so what happens in the enlightenment is we, we lose sin and we lose evil and we replace it with immorality. Right. Now, there was, there was great advantages to that. There's, there's a lot gained. But again, there was something lost, which is we actually... The, the, the idea of immorality or whatever, and I, would, I like to use the word unethical versus immoral because it's just less loaded, is... When something's a sin, it's just because the fucking God or whatever told you or the priest told you it's a sin. But when you decide something is immoral or unethical, that's because you've thought about it. Or at least like you listen to mm -hmm. somebody else talk about it. It didn't come from like on high or it didn't necessarily come from on high like a sin does. A sin has to come from on high. And so that's why yeah. during the Enlightenment, we decided that we would talk about morality or ethics or whatever. We don't right we like we, we we can't understand evil because we've reduced it to morality and we've reduced morality to individual choice because oh i think we're getting close to the demons we must be we've kantian ethics <laughs> yeah. autonomy of right so what i'm trying to say so they're, they're trying to say something like they want i think what they would like to say is you know the machine is evil yeah but I, but i think that they, they i think so when I listen to them, and I don't know if they would say this, but what I get from them, and this is maybe filtered through my own yeah. symbolic lens or whatever, is to say something like, what I see is the desire to instrumentalize all things towards 
desire. They won't say desire, they say freedom. But yes. like, I yeah, yeah. prefer the desire part because I think it's closer to a whole historical development. Well, freedom is understood as freedom from restraint on desire. Exactly, there you go. Okay. And so, so what they're saying is that you're trying to instrumentalize things in the name of this. And I think that that's, e that's evil. That's a good definition of evil. Okay. Evil is instrument instrumentalization of things towards my own self, okay. self this, desire. Okay, but this is the part that's missing from their but what if your selfish desire isn't bad? This needs to be a like I selfishly <laughs> desire to take a shower. That's not bad. I just fucking like the way I feel after I take a shower. Get the fuck out of here. Like, what do you mean? Like we do things for ourselves all the time <laughs> that also help other people. The shower is a primary example. Yeah, I shower and you shower, and we're maybe we're stuck in this studio sometime when it's a little humid and fucking. Get a little bit of swamp nuts or whatever. At least your swamp nuts are, are clean. <laughs> like, it's good for everyone. Yeah. And you, you enjoyed the shower, too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a very odd point, like he made. It's just untrue. Right. You can do things that you want to do, and then it just fucking helps other people. Like... <clears throat> What if I make a, this, a great salad and I get like overzealous and make the salad too big and then someone else lives here and then they get the other half of the salad. And I felt, or what if you just go buy a salad? Right, because you want one. Like, that's turn selfish. You want to buy the salad. Like you want to own the salad. Right. But like you're paying someone to make the salad and to give you the salad. And then again, if it's too big, you can give the rest of it to your friend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Like so many people are, I mean, I don't know, maybe the person making the salad doesn't like their job or whatever. Sure. But like, like evil isn't just doing the things you want because you want to do them. Like, like you could do, you could do, like, I want to go for a bike ride tomorrow. That's very selfish of you, Dave. I mean, I might get in the way of somebody, somebody's car and they're, they're going to show up somewhere a half a second late because they had to slow down for me. <laughs> Although over here on the south side, I would be terrified and just avoid the cars at all costs because they're not used to fucking bicycles over here. But it's not, there's no, there's no reason to sort of, ah, because it's self-organizing or because it's distributed cognition or because it's a hyper object or because it takes on a life of its own. It's what they basically- Did I miss? What the fuck is a hyper object? And it's evil that's, uh, that's not- It doesn't have to mean anything. I don't know. I mean, that has a specific definition, but I don't think that he's using it in that sense. Like a fourth, a, a, an object that exists in four, four spatial dimensions is called a hyper object. But right. I and don't those, those, think that's what he means. And isn't that, isn't that useful in like mathematics and some kinds of computer science? Yes. Like, yes, it is very useful. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's the what he means. As the immorality of individual could be wrong. behavior. It's got a life of its own. Yeah. That, the ancient notion of evil was that it was something beyond immoral behavior. Yeah. It, had, it had a non-existence. You know what I yeah, mean yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah. doing it. It has, a, it has a reality independent of human being. This is Augustine's great, he claims his great discovery, right? That there's something pulling him down that's not his choice. Yeah but it somehow infects his choice and makes him believe it's his choice, right? And, and then he tries with original sin, and we won't get into the, the theology. But the, 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 the insight there... You're probably unqualified to talk about that, too. There's something, beyond, there's something <laughs> else that goes on yeah. beyond immoral... Like, you, 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 can see, you can see Arendt wrestling this with, the, with like, when she's Eichmann and the banality of evil. Like, He's thinking pretty hard. Is smoke going to start coming out his fucking so ears? Banal. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> they're immoral, but they're banal. How do we get the titanic evil of the Nazis from a bunch of people acting immorally? Like, like that's the, actually, that's the good, interesting question that you're just going to gloss over, is how did that yeah. happen in a world where most people are generally good and decent people? That's the actual interesting question about what happened under the Third Reich. And this guy's just going to gloss over it because it doesn't have anything to do with God. Like, that's, that's the whole question. Yep. How do any atrocities happen? That's a very good question.
She's really, that, that's how I, I'm reading her. She's re- Do you see what I'm trying no, to No, I about? totally agree. I, but I think that there's a, I think that the, the narrative, if you look at, the, the, people can't, I, I understand, people don't understand the narrative and they've been ruined by science fiction and, and movies where they see like demons with wings that are with swords and fighting. It's, <laughs> oh no, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole demonology, that's what demonology is. Right? Demonology is to understand that evil is transpersonal. It, it, has, it has a kind of parasitic intelligence. Yes. And that you can recognize it, you can name it, and you can see the pattern, and you can notice when it embodies itself. And then you can see that for most of us, sometimes, most of us will, will let's say, give up to some demon sometimes. Like, I get angry, I do this, I do that. But then sometimes, some people get completely taken over by something, a, a parasitic uh, uh, pattern that they, that they become completely uh, taken over by, and then they're possessed. <laughs> he's literally fucking... He's literally describing somebody who needs an exorcism. I, this is... I'm, I'm I mean, com- I, I think he's describing body thetans. It's... It's no different, right? Like, that's how L. Ron Hubbard described Thetans. So, I guess, I don't know, they're, I mean, Thetans seem like, you know, you're just copying the the idea of demons from Christian mythology. Oh, Scientology. (laughs) But yeah, uh, this is just mythology that this guy is talking about as if it's real. They're possessed by the demon of anger and that this is something that, that happens. I think that that's what demonology is. And if, I mean, I think <laughs> people would be hesitant to bring back demonology because it has so many weird uh, connotations. But if we can understand it properly, we can see that it is this idea that there are these patterns that are intelligent and that are agents. Oh no, he's going to describe it again. Mm. And that you can recognize them and that, like you said, it's not it doesn't... They do not have agency. What the fuck is he talking about? Citate conscious actors yeah. all through no. the way that they embody themselves. It doesn't at all. Yes. But you can still see the structure and you can still see it embodying itself. So, so yeah, I mean, we've had another... You're talking about a ghost? You know, We've had two, and I, I, the idea of uh, you know distributed cognition, uh, collective intelligence. So the dude's desperate to try to save this guy from himself by changing the subject to like back <laughs> to the metaverse. I, I think the evidence for this is overwhelming, and you know, uh, Dan Chappie and I published Wait, papers. Collective intelligence? That there is no what evidence for collective intelligence? He's like saying that it's overwhelming. Does he mean like a library? Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you define it, right? Because we have, we, but we have to do things to, but that's collected. That's a collection of knowledge, not like a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Um, you know, uh, I mean, it, it could be an emergent property, but there's nothing inherent about, um, uh, like matter that it's like it, matter floating out in space doesn't necessarily have collective intelligence. Does he mean like we as a species have evolved to have some sort of collective intelligence? I mean, I... The thing about this stuff, it's a little bit... It's a little bit effective because it's weaselly and you can't really pin it down. The other guy, you could pin down what he was saying. He was like just literally talking about a fucking... Someone needing an exorcism or a fucking auditing session or some shit yeah he literally said it has agency right the, the, so he's guy. talking about an actual demon <laughs> or like a body thetan or some shit yeah but this guy's a little more weaselly uh, uh yeah agency and uh, and and i th- so i think i think we're we're what i'm saying is we're because we're breaking out of the individualistic model of cognition we are now cr- maybe groping or at least moving towards an ontology in which we can now relocate Wait, what we who's used moving to out of the individualistic model of cog who who's we <laughs> like who's we i uh, i think he means humanity but like i would disagree i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure like like people who study human cognition are not like trying to like transcend the 
transcend the individual. Like that doesn't seem like it would be a um, doesn't seem like a thing that like the people who study cognition, cognitive scientists, uh, cognitive behavioralists, cognitive cognitive psychologists, whatever, doesn't seem like a thing that they're doing. Otherwise, you'd be hearing about it because the religious people would be dancing a jig for it, right? <laughs> Or the crystal healing energy, every every everything is energy, and we're all connected. People would be like, "Oh, well, emerge, you know, blah blah blah." The scientific consensus is that, but they're not doing that. It's just this guy doing it. God damn! And not just try and place it within individual moral choice. That's what I'm suggesting is actually the key thing that is happening here, and I don't see them actually recognizing it. I think it's implicit in what they're doing, but I think this is actually the key thing that's happening. But I think I, I maybe if, I think they're fixing yeah. it on the wrong. But I, I, it's funny. I think these two guys, all three of these, are actually sharing one skepticism. So that's part of the problem. They only have, what do you mean? They only have the skepticism of one person between all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing one skepticism. <laughs> and they have exactly zero cynicism between all three of them. And so this is all just fucked. Yeah, it's my turn on the skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> but they each have at least one galaxy brain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, the the bigger the galaxy brain, the dumber the things you say, right? Ten, generally, yeah. I've had a couple <laughs> real galaxy brain moments, but like I didn't really share them with anybody. I was high as a motherfucker, sitting in the corner of a warehouse watching the world melt. I had a couple realizations about the world. I would call those galaxy brain moments, and no, I'm not going to talk to everybody about them. It's someone. <laughs> maybe I'm speaking uh, for Paul. Keeping my fucking self. There's a fear. People are afraid to talk about these things uh, because like, look what I just said. I just said, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say it straight out. I said, there's a demon that is a watcher. That is that there's a, that's watching over a pattern of reality. And that is what is maintaining it together and making its boots work in the world. And the, the, these people, these boots, is there a boots are made for walking joke here? <laughs> uh, I, I guess that song was demonic. I bet they probably thought so at the time. Watcher, that is it. It was like feminism. Hold on, we got to go back. This is this is fucking amazing. Great to talk <laughs> about these things uh, because, like, look what I just said. I just said I'll say I'll say I'll say it straight out. I said there's a demon that is a watcher. That is that there's a that's watching over a pattern of reality, and that is what is maintaining it together and making its boots work in the world. And the the these people are possessed and are unwilling agents of a demon. And they're bringing about this system. And it's like, okay, really? And then everybody looks, starts to look around and tries to get out of the room. Right. But the, <laughs> but the point, and, and you know, we, we don't completely agree on this, although we, we like, uh, like. No, I would. I would. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my controller. Completely agree and I'm going to push X to doubt. Like, uh, whether or not. The, the, whether well, or maybe I could just say one thing. So yeah. I think that. Wait, you were going to stop him from agreeing with you about demons mostly while pretending to disagree with you. Why did you stop him? Why did you why did you stop your husband from disagreeing from agreeing with you about demons? Conversation for yeah. hours and hours of conversation had made it possible for me to say that. Yeah. And I think you were able to see that. Oh, shit. Clippy's here to help them <laughs> look. <laughs> it looks like you're talking about demons. You could stop Would right you like now. help shutting the fuck up? Have you considered installing I don't know, never mind. Bring back yes. a traditional language to explain something which I can Microsoft Exorcism 95. I could use other languages if you want, but that that language is is also possible. And I think that what I think that Paul, if I had Paul in a in a private conversation and I would say, "Do you think there's a demon behind this?" He might say, "Yes." But he's like, "I don't know how to say that." Mm. Well, he, he did say that the, the he felt that the the driver was metaphysical. Right. So they pointing he's kind of pointing like why Please update your Angel Fire page about demons. Oh man, something like that. Okay, <laughs> that's an interesting question. But you're 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 a professor with tenure. Like you don't talk about kind of metaphysics in this in this way. Do, do you feel do you feel uncomfortable way? about what do you mean? So be, me, me, well, I, I do talk about tenure is a bad idea actually because you, you could be senior 
at a place and maybe get a little more leeway because you have a good track record, but like ten years is stupid. Where else? Yeah. Where else can you go I around agree. like mistreating your your coworkers and shit, and then be like, "Well, that person has tenure, so they can just do that." Yeah. Uh, it was a dumb idea when it started, and it's continued to be a dumb idea this entire time. Right. The only other people who could do that is cops. Like you either also have, a dumb idea. Right. Well, at least yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea of policing maybe isn't dumb, but cops definitely bad. The idea of them having unlimited power and and no checks on that power is a dumb idea. Also, this guy having tenure, even if we let some people have tenure, is a bad idea. I bet this guy doesn't re, uh, like um, mistreat the people he works with, though. I bet he's okay. But he's just tiring. You know what I'm saying? I bet he's just like. You don't want to get stuck in like anywhere with this guy, not because he's going to grope you, <laughs> but, you, but because the opposite of that, the opposite reason also not good, but not as bad as being groped. This guy's just going to fucking like, like fucking, he's going to like, like, like a fucking, like a sucking monster on your mind. And he's just going to talk, and talk and talk and talk. He's an energy vampire. You've got a reputation to protect. We don't. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, like, and, and Jonathan's pointing at this, that there is a discomfort with this language, a discomfort with this. But well, because it's crazy. Pointing in that direction with the talk of kind like, of... There's a, oh, Jonathan's pointing out that there's a discomfort with you just sitting here saying a demon is real. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> motherfucker, it's crazy. It's like crazy town. Of course people are... I mean, I'm not uncomfortable with it. I think it's great. But that's because of the ex the, the exact and specific nature of what we're doing here. Oh, look, you got David with the, <laughs> you got David Fuller with the fucking uh, the tinfoil hat. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to have him on the show to talk about it. Right. <laughs> like, please, come on. Let's talk about demons. Right. Just be like, please have a sense of humor. We come in good faith. We're going to have jokes. You can bring your best jokes. Oh, shit. Justin Freaking with the goats. You missed it, Justin. <laughs> you, I, Justin, you <laughs> just you missed it. In fact, I think it's, it was like only back like, here, here we go. You Check this out. I think you were able to see that I, that what I mean has, is coherent. I'm using a language. I'm trying to yes, bring back yes. a traditional language to explain something which I can then, I could break it down. Do I have to go back further? I could use other languages if you want, but that that language. I think so. A collective intelligence and that. Here we go. I think the evidence. It was just after this. And, yep. you know, uh, Dan Chappie and I published papers. This guy on the left who's on David Fuller's show who's an intellectual is going, he just described a demon and he's going to explain again that he believes in a literal fucking demon and these people are sense makers. <laughs> Papers on that and, you know, uh, uh, shared agency. And that is not a leftist. Well, I don't know. So I think, I think we're, we're, what I'm saying is we're, because we're breaking out of the individualistic model mm -hmm. of cognition, we are now maybe groping or at least moving towards why is he talking about groping in which we can now relocate what we used to point out with demons and evil and not just try and place it within individual moral choice that's what i'm suggesting is actually the key thing that is happening here and i don't see them actually recognizing it i think it's implicit in what they're doing but i think this is actually the key thing that's happening but I think I, maybe if, I think they're fixing yeah, on the wrong. Thing. But I, I, it's funny because like I think that someone uh, maybe I'm speaking uh, for Paul, but I think that there's a fear. People are afraid to talk about these things. <laughs> like look what I just said. I just said I'll say I'll say I'll say it straight out. I said there's a demon that is a watcher. That is that there's a that's watching over a pattern of reality, and that is what is maintaining it together and making its boots work in the world and the, the these people are possessed and are unwilling agents of a demon and they're bringing about this system and it's like okay really and then so he he thinks that anyone who is uh who is like morally evil is possessed by a demon and their any atrocities that they commit were because the demon was controlling them so if you could imagine the um, the people like us on Twitter got a hold of this, and we're like, 
<laughs> tweeting at him like, hey, dude. Hey, did you really say you believe in a demon? <laughs> He's like, that's not what I said. And then they were like, well, here's a timestamp, actually. <laughs> I like that, like, he didn't just say it. He actually clarified it in this one that he did mean a literal demon. <laughs> so he can't walk that back. He he actually meant a literal demon. He would have to walk it back twice. Yep. Yeah, he totally clarified it. <laughs> and it, people on Twitter. It's only nine o'clock. How am I already yawning? You had to sit through every you had to, you had to sit through a lot to get to this point but people people on twitter like were like hey hey dude you believe in literal demons and he, like i said he said no i don't and then they gave him a time stamp it was probably like right where we went back to when the raiders came right and he's like then he went the other way and just said demons are real and then people started really making fun <laughs> So wait, he denied it, and then they showed him proof, and he's like, okay, yeah, demons are real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Like, what else is he going to do? This guy's out of his fucking mind. Right. But, but, but the point, and, and you know, we, we, we don't completely agree on this, although we... we <laughs> fucking motherfucker, we don't completely agree on this. <laughs> how, how nice. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Well, maybe I could just say one thing. So yeah. I think that our long conversation for yeah. hours and hours of conversation had made it possible for me to say that. <laughs> well, the, the conversations are doing bad things for you, my friend. You should have different conversations. <laughs> maybe with people who are um more critical. What was that fucking thing they were talking about? The fucking the the suspicious fucking uh, paradigm or whatever it was. The suspicious. Yeah. What was that? He needs to go with the suspicious people a little bit more because he's hanging out with the with the people who think everything's beautiful. Then he just told them about a real demon that like makes you do bad things. It's probably making us make fun of him right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me yawn right now. <laughs> right, right. The hurt. That's all. All demon power. The hemorrhoid. Oh, was that? <laughs> the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> Seth, I would try to read that word, but also like because the chat is the way that it is, I'm like that person's fucking with me. It's the hermetics of suspicion. He was saying, I think. Okay. The yeah. hemorrhoids of suspicion. God damn it. <laughs> the hemorrhoids of suspicion. <laughs> you know what? This guy needs to hang out with more people who are suspicious about what he's saying that have hemorrhoids, so they are like a little, a little quick, a little, <laughs> little, 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 little punchy. You know. <laughs> this guy, fucking, come on, man. How do you? How does David Fuller, this is what, this is one of the things I want to talk to David Fuller about is like, why, like at some point you have to just be like, what the fuck? And there's no point like that uh, for him. Well, that's cause he's about to like, I don't know if you caught it. He's gearing up to go, go back to the, isn't it great that we can have this conversation <laughs> line like that? That's what he's doing right now. So he's cutting off them from like from saying yeah but that's kind of crazy and we don't agree with you he's cutting them off right now and saying but isn't it great we could have this conversation is he about to do it again i i was like busy thinking about yeah, he's saying like it took hours for him to finally open up and reveal his crazy and i think you were able to see that I, that what I mean has is coherent. I'm using a language. I'm trying to yes, bring back yes. a traditional language to explain something which I can then, I could break it down in causalities. I could use other languages if you want, but that that language is is also possible. And I think that what, I think that Paul, if I had Paul in a, in a private conversation and I would say, do you think there's a demon behind this? He might say yes, but he's like, I don't know how to say that. Mm. Well, he, he did say that the, the, he felt that the- Maybe Paul will say anything to get laid. Was Who's Paul? So I don't even know who the fuck Paul is. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Okay, that's an interesting question, but yeah. you're 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 a professor with tenure. Like you don't talk about kind of metaphysics in this in this way. Do, do you feel do you feel uncomfortable that? about what do you mean? So be, me, me, well, I, I do talk about distributed you've, cognitive you've got a reputation to protect. You've got a reputation to protect. We don't. I mean, no, you don't. If you're sitting there with David Fuller and the re demons a real guy, you probably actually don't have a reputation to protect. Anyone? Like <laughs> fucking no way. Or if you do, you're doing a bad job. Like. And, and Jonathan's pointing at this, that there is a discomfort with this language, a discomfort with this, but you're kind of, you're pointing in that direction with the talk of kind of distributed cognitive. So I was wrong about the, uh, about the, he wasn't going back to, isn't it great we can have this conversation? 
he actually just doubled down and was like, no, you really do believe me. What I'm saying makes perfect sense and it's true. And you doubting me, you're the crazy one, not me. And then David Fuller is kind of like almost both sides in it, but then more taking the demon guy's side, it seems like. <laughs> Maybe David Fuller believes in demons. Maybe this is all performance art, and he has to block me because if he came on my show, he would be like, okay, listen, you're being very rude, and you just don't get the joke, all right? Goodbye. <laughs> if this is performance art, it is the most brilliant performance art I've ever seen. I don't think it is, but I've seen enough proper trolling in my life to know that it's not 0% chance that it's performance art. <laughs> it's pretty close and we can dismiss the idea for the most part, but we do have to keep in mind that it could be performance art. What's up tones. You missed the whole demon thing. We're not going back. BJ Campbell now talking about <laughs> egregores and it's sort of like overlapping with, with talk of the occult with, with I'm a, I'm a release. I'm a, re I'm a release this too on the pod feed. This is amazing. I mean, uh, I mean, I published three papers on it, so at least some part of it's comfortable in academia. Like, but, but did they say that there's a demon? <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt anyone is publishing papers about demons. Well, does the demon have a name? <laughs> is the demon here in the room with us? <laughs> right, and, and if the demon is in the, here in the room with us, should we not maybe stop using derogatory language uh, like demon because we should try to build trust actually with the demon so that we can have a conversation with the demon i'm sorry with the extra 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 uh, extra reality entity we can have a conversation with that entity about how great it is that we're having a conversation about that entity and i just feel like i feel like <laughs> If there was a demon, his name is like Frederick, and he's actually a nice guy with feelings, and y'all should uh, extend some charity. He prefers the term angel of the underworld. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they, them pronouns are fine, though. <laughs> uh, the angels of the underworld is the name of my new band, by the way. In, the, in, in, in important journals um so that probably I, is a band actually idea, <laughs> so uh, maybe not cognition extended mind distributed uh cognition collective no your 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 dude over there was talking about a demon <laughs> now this guy is like shit about distributed cognition and distributed like something of the mind now this doesn't sound as crazy as it is i think this dude over there is like throwing a block you know, I think like, Angels you, of the Underworld is like a book series, actually. Sorry. <laughs> you know how, like, yeah, I think he's throwing a block. It's like if you're riding your bike and you have to turn left and then you notice, like, the big rig is turning left. And if you can avoid the big rig, nothing's going to hit you because the big rig is in the way. And you turn left on the outside of the big rig. Let's say you turn left at a at an intersection. Find a big car and try to stay next to it as it turns left. That's what this guy's doing for the or that's what the demon guy's doing for this guy as he starts talking about this fucking distributed cognition bullshit. <laughs> Reasonable by proxy. Right. It's like fucking it's like it's like if somebody comes up to you and explains the Xenu story to you. And then somebody tells you, well, maybe the moon's a hologram. Compared to the Xenu story, you're like, well, maybe the moon is a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> you're more reasonable, so I'm going to go over there with you, and let's leave this other guy behind. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave the Xenu story alone. But have you heard about the hologram moon? Like that's that's what I think that's what we just witnessed. We witnessed the fucking demon guy throw a block for the collective consciousness guy. <laughs> hyper objects hyper agents uh, what is a hyper object this is all um it's a four-dimensional object it's giving clearly a metaphysics. and a hyper agent is a four-dimensional agent um, i guess I've, i'd have to i've seen burn notice i know what the know what agents are some of the his, history uh, that jason uh, that uh, jonathan acknowledged but can they rotate and translate in the fourth dimension like he's trying like he, he's like you said they can barely remember their lines on that show dude all these images there's all this history okay. there's all these horror movies there's all this <laughs> other stuff that i 
But I, I don't see it as a way to... Dude, the hyper agent is, takes 20% instead of 10 or 15. <laughs> it's like, uh, have you ever seen Californication? As Runkle was the hyper agent. Because he took like 30% of all of Hank's money. Right now, I don't see it as a way to cast it aside. Would I see it aside. as a way to recapture it in a manner that will not be silly and, and superstitious and, and ridiculous. That it will actually... that. Oh, you should clarify again. You could recapture this idea in a way that wouldn't be silly or superstitious. Dude, let's go. Come on, baby. Give us, give us a third. Give us, give us a re... Give us a... Isn't it great that I was able to talk about talking about talking about the demon? Can I have that? Can you give that to me right now, <laughs> Mr. Peugeot? Uh, there is a way that we could talk about it without being superstitious. It's to not fucking believe in it. Because if you believe in it, you're superstitious. That is a superstition, period. The end. And it's actually fine. Like, I don't even care if people believe in ghosts or whatever. Like, one of the people that raids our channel, one of our only Twitch friends, I think, believes in ghosts. But I was able to go on his show, watch ghost videos, make fun of the ghost videos. He had a laugh. I had a laugh. He made fun of the ghost videos. And I said, oh, actually, this is more convincing than most ghost videos. But like. That might have been the actual marketplace of ideas about demons and nobody invited Jonathan Peugeot. <laughs> Jonathan Peugeot, go on Famous Horses show and watch ghost videos with him. All right. He won't even make fun of you a little until you tell him, actually, that might or might not be a ghost, but it's controlled by a demon. The demon is somewhere between the moon <laughs> and the earth. <laughs> and it is controlling ghosts from the top or yes, the, ghosts and people. Yes. How does this demon work? Does it have a <laughs> physical connection? Is it some sort of like astral plane connection? 5G. 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 <laughs> <laughs> man the reception is great on this demon <laughs> i think that this moment and your work affords the possibility I, I, of going back into a medieval grimoire right and saying okay we can now understand this in a better way that the horror movie doesn't understand i i, I and that so give me that caveat right, okay. and then my answer to you is given that caveat i'm happy to talk this way but I, in addition to demons, I would talk about daemons, right? And I would talk Wait, about... Wait, uh, a daemon? Daemons? HK, what's a daemon? You're, you, you're the right one to... Like, in, uh, in a, where you're at. A daemon is a, uh, uh, is a that's, piece that's, of software that... Could also be your friend. What? Could also just be your friend. Huh? You have a friend named Damon. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, maybe I he's just talking about I, it, this dude I, he knows, but go ahead. <laughs> Uh, a daemon's a piece of software that runs in the background and like does some function like running something else or serving network requests or something. There are daemons at play all over the place on what we're doing right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you could suggest that you installed a brand new daemon today. It does something in the background that you don't have to actively monitor and it, and it, 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 it helps, I think. But it, I did. I installed Pipewire. That's a daemon. And the way that you know that it's a daemon in software is that you forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you forget about it. And you only know about it when it isn't working. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> it's just like this guy's demon, actually. <laughs> if this guy's demon stopped making everybody do all this bad shit, we'd figure it out because we lived in Utopia. <laughs> Yep, as we just need to uninstall that demon. Just uh P kill dash nine um uh, what is it? Top level demon? Top just, dash level dash demon. <laughs> I just feel like I would just I would just wipe the system clean. Uh, Pipewire is not like Wireshark. Pipewire is a new sound server for Linux, and it's fucking also, amazing. Also, a video server. We we've incorporate yeah. uh, we've implemented the video part of Pipewire, not the audio. So like, Pipewire is fucking amazing. Any like the composite of the, the 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 on like on the stream the video from YouTube. It's using Pipewire to bring the video into OBS. We just haven't. 
whatever our audio is stuck nobody will <laughs> ever get me to change like the basic way that i do audio around here but yeah you also well, installed like jack was, is better for real-time audio than than pipe wire is i was also like you installed a noise gate a noise gate is a daemon that might exist outside of a computer right because it's on somebody's rack yeah in their the radio yeah. station and they only know that it's broken they only know that it's there when it's broken yeah. <laughs> All, there's a multiplicity of terms in greek and we and we oh really the one thanks term. So Socrates has his demonium, <laughs> his divine sign, right, right, and there's the... And, but there's all, I, I've been thinking about this so much, and I've been trying to poke at it. There seems to be the, the positive aspect... Don't poke at the demon. It's got lasers and shit, dude. <laughs> Interestingly enough, like, the demon has fucking lasers, dude. Don't angels fuck with right that hands, thing. Left <laughs> Maybe the demon's into that. The left hands are basically the demons, and they're unwittingly doing the, the transcendent work without them knowing what they're doing. But, yeah, so, there isn't a neutral category, and I'm like, there's got to be a neutral category. <laughs> But in Islam, they have the notion of the jinn as an yeah. ambiguous category. Yes. And I think in Christianity, that's why, although... The neutral demon? In the theology, we only have these, this duality. Now we're talking about demonic alignment? You the fairies, and you'll always have uh, these wood, wood sprites, all these manifestations of intelligent patterns, that natural intelligent patterns yeah. that, that people talk about that, that are kind of ambiguous, because you know that... You know, what happens in the woods is... I'm a, I'm a lawful, neutral demon, so, uh, you know, you could be here, but only if you're allowed. Also, real quick, if the tenured professor doesn't think this guy is cute, then there's a real problem here. I'm just saying why? If, Because, like, why the fuck else would he hang out with this guy? Like, if he doesn't <laughs> think he's, like, fucking, like, oh my God, you're smoking right. hot... Like if, if he's not attracted to this guy, like in a, like a romantic, like not just a sexual way, but a fucking romantic way. Cause I mean, he is, you know, he's not a demon guy. He's not, not a bad looking guy for a, you know, he's like a little older than me. I think maybe 50, pretty good, pretty good looking for a 50 year old, you know? Yep. Uh, <laughs> in, in case you're very confused about what Dave is saying at the beginning of this conversation that they're having, those two were flirting. They appeared to be. No, they were a hundred percent flirting. Everyone here was a little uncomfortable and felt a little third wheelie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm not totally sure I found a way to talk about it yet. Mm -hmm. That is coherent with to, to have like a yeah, this idea of these of like the way that the daemon would have functioned in Greek culture yes. would have not necessarily been good or bad, it would just have been What is a daemon? I'm so confused. <laughs> is a demon different than a daemon? Isn't that just two ways to pronounce the same word? That Eros is considered a daemon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just fucking and, and shut up. So Socrates' demonium is something. Eros. What does that control? Just, uh, one step aside, because it's not a daemon. Is that a male it's daemon? It's, it's something like a daemon in him. Um, so it's a it's a much more it's a much more complicated and interesting taxonomy. Yeah. Um, but you have the notion of the guardian angel, like in, in some Russian theology, for example, there's a notion that the eros is sexual love. So it's a sex daemon. Right. It's like the, so it's like the daemon that runs Pornhub. <laughs> Most of that is running in the background. When you ever, if you go into the fucking data center, all you hear are the fans actually, you know. Talks about the angel. Yeah. The right <laughs> That's all the Eros demons running on all the both servers. Both into Aaron, and he says Aaron is both of those at the same mm. time. Or is he talking about like a dude named Aaron? Is he talking about his ex? I, fuck it, I don't know, man. Anyways, I get myself kicked off of Twitch if I keep talking about these people like this. There's one last thing. Like there's context and shit, but eventually it becomes a problem. I become the problem. Which ties a few of these things together and also pushes into something of personal interest, which is. Uh, the future of rebel wisdom and kind of the sense that the future well, of rebel wisdom is you're going to keep grifting all those old people you had on the group call to move on to other things so paul mentioned how this area of the internet is kind of dealing with the questions what is the nature of the civilizational crises we're facing and what are the paths out um and he said part of the oh, difficulty tracy you be knowing things is that this little corner of the internet <laughs> grammar like shut up you're like the smartest nicest person in our chat most nights institutions tracy roll he says this makes the heterodox space to some degree always reactive and that reactivity is antithetical to the sorts of institution building that's necessary for sustained human reformation and flourishing. Oh, lady b whatever you said you meant in an angry way i've seen you i see you 20 saying that 
the idea of like there's always an angry australian are. woman in the chat just no matter what it was sammy now it's uh new institution now it's lady b i'm glad sammy and lady b haven't had too many interactions because like, her like, angry australian women might be territorial of rebel wisdom like it feels like <laughs> it was the right thing to to cover that insurgency it was a real it's a necessary moment sort of from 2016 onwards and covering that whole narrative was was the right thing to do but for me it feels like that story has been told. No, you're not that bad. You haven't been kicked out, Lady B. What's needed now is actually a process. You're a wonderful, queen. Lady B. We haven't made you the queen either, though, you know? Or, or a heterodox. Oh, you do have a crown next so, to your name. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to I mean, hear your I, thoughts I, on I, that. I agree. I even, you might have not seen that tweet, but I said very early, I think, like, right, maybe a few months after it started, I said, I do not identify with the intellectual dark web. Like, I just do not identify with that name. I don't want, there's something, there's something that to me doesn't, that's not what I want. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the, just a guy poking at the system because then you lose. You've already lost. Um, and I, Oh, I bet he got beef with one of those people. <laughs> and I bet it's not Sam Harris. <laughs> one of them doesn't believe in demons. I bet it's no, it's not about that. I bet he, I bet he, he has like some weird beef with like Eric Weinstein over like some sort of weird toilet paper roll metaphor shit. Like it's, it's weird. I bet he's got some <laughs> personal beef with one of them for some other fucking real weird reason. Maybe Dave and Dave Probably. Rubin didn't, maybe Dave and Dave Rubin weren't like interested in like uh, exploring their relationship further. I don't know. But I think that there, there is like, you're right. And where you are and what you want to do next, I think it's possible right now. Because Speaking of demons, I just got uh, an email from my, my smart monitor demon. You can't just keep doing that. You have if it was smart, it would know not to email you right now. Then plant a new seed. You have to it monitors my uh, my raid array and tells me if any of the disks are going bad. And it sends me emails just to let me know that it can still send me emails. Anything else? You have to kind of break down. That's like a dead man. It's like a dead man switch. Build out of it. Yeah. If I don't get an email from it for a while, I'll know it's not working. And then it's time to like set off the nuclear weapon that you've like conveniently hidden somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all doing it in our own way. It's yeah. not just yeah. It's not. It's not going to be a. Uh, um, oh no, they're making fun of you now. I guess the issue, um, like, like uh, on my tombstone. I like it when they make fun of you because that means they're not making fun of me this time. Is um, right. Um, I agree. We, 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 you know, Paul and I had a recent video where we we're talking about what this. This is like. This is starting to. I'm getting couples therapy vibes now. I feel like they've this video's long enough that their relationship has gone through. Like they went on their honeymoon, they've come back, and now they're fighting. <laughs> We're not the couples. Now he's like this guy. He believes in demons, and I don't, and it's tearing us apart. And 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 the, I mean, I, uh, Ellie Paul's work comes to mind here. Like if you could see what's going to happen in the transformation, you're not going through a real transformation. If you can infer your way through it, then you're not. You're just, you're just extrapolating, right? And so that's why I'm really resistant. The difference between us and the rest of the critic sphere is that we'll hang on to the their dating joke <laughs> for like a couple hours. <laughs> right? We'll hang on to that. We'll hang on to that for way longer than anybody else will. And the reason we're able to do that. A joke. The reason we're able to do that is actually identity <laughs> politics, and it's my my identity specifically. Otherwise, people will be like, "This is a little homophobic." Yeah, <laughs> that is true. You'd be uncomfortable doing this 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 routine about their date with Matt if Matt kept bringing up their date. You'd be like, "This is a little cringe." Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's a claim that fuck yeah, identity politics, it, right? And then that, that undermines. <laughs> what I think is happening, which is a genuine transformation. So the difficulty we're facing right now. I can't now, imagine that from here. It's basically yeah, the imaginal link is, is difficult. The imaginal, imaginal link is, is difficult. Um, and, 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 it's, and it's needed. You can't do it without the imaginal link. You, you can't go through transformation without. He said it again, the imaginal link. That's the talk. What is the imaginal link? Like ritual is absolutely necessary. But the, 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 the question then becomes, well, what are, right? We, we, we sort of, like, we deconstructed, we broke the frame, but how do we, how do we, how do we properly, I guess, how do we properly ritualize the transformation?
What um, the fuck are you talking? You're just embarrassed that your husband like, believes in demons, all right? Difference between <laughs> and right. Although he How do we properly uh, ritualize uh, the transformation uh, of the imaginal uh, link? Um, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, it's not clear in my mind what, how, how we move forward. Mm. And start to build this. You know what? Have we I, talked I, about hyper objects recently? We should talk about those lessons from history. I tried to take a lesson from I, the next. I, the, you know what? I only have so much license. The next joke I was going to make about a hyper object in with socioeconomic policies. But no, I can't do it. I, there's no way I can sanitize that joke. People being together and oh god, was it imaginal? Was it an imaginal hyper object? You steal the culture, and, and all right, so Twitch is dead. Um, it's like a 4D sex toy, but. <laughs> I, I, it's it, it, it comes Sorry, down to everybody. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Like we're, we're some things you just can't fucking sanitize. Communities of practice too spicy for Twitch. <laughs> but, like who are we to do this? Also, I don't want to give them any ideas. <laughs> what are the criteria by which we do the vetting? Right now, we we've just been relying on. I trust Jonathan. I'm starting to wonder that fan. Does it even work? If we might want to make a civilization. That's a nice fan. I bet it moves a lot of air. You know. Passion. So, um, I totally agree. I would assume it works. This. I'd assume this is not their place, by the way. They just like, they just ask like, "Hey, we noticed you guys are closed. Can we come in for like ten minutes and record a video?" And now the the owner of the place is just like tapping their foot in the back, like Utopia. Very suspicious of that. Um, so I need to open the shop back up. Can we wrap it up here? I think this is one of the two people on the ends. I think it's one of their living rooms, and I'm guessing it's uh, the professor guy here. Because there's no way this is actually a coffee shop. Because even if they're paying I've, more, <laughs> even if they're paying more than the coffee shop would have made during these hours of operation, yes, yeah, somebody has to be there and listen to this. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like oh. no coffee shop would agree to this. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. I turned off the fucking sound. I gotta stop fucking with the the. <clears throat> uh oh. I got to stop fucking with the incredibly complicated on off button for the sound of OBS. <laughs> when I need to, I need to like set up something where I can't uh, anyway. Sorry, everybody. We, we had, we had jokes. They were not too spicy for Twitch. They weren't even funny, but yeah, we're trying to figure um, out where, like, where they are. Like, I think this has got to be one of their living rooms. I'm thinking if they're in a coffee shop, there's got to be some like employee there. Like, come on, guys, can we wrap it up? You paid for an hour. If I didn't known you were going to be here this long, I would have taken that couple mushroom caps that I have, like just in my drawer, because I can't possibly <laughs> sit here and listen to this. This looks like a bar. But this, I bet it's this guy's living room. The guy on the screen right here. He seems like the kind of guy. Who would have this kind of living room? He, he these people are these people are only on this show because they're rich. Yeah. Um, if it is one of their living rooms, like why would they build it that way? They knew this day would one was coming. Huh? They knew this day was coming. Oh, <laughs> like <laughs> they built it specifically for this. Like, well, I mean, this. I don't think this is a bar. I don't know. I like. I. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know if I was like an eccentric rich person who like believed in demons. Maybe I would build a bar that doesn't look like a bar anybody would go to in my living room. I don't know, HK. <laughs> No, I'll keep doing all of what I'm doing and stealing the culture and everything, but I'm really wrestling really deeply about how can I behave virtually and responsibly in this Kairos? What? And I take that question. The question is in this haunting. Kairos? What's a Kairos? I, I'm, I'm running a suspicion. I'm suspicious of anything. What it is is like a $3 word. And something else, and you know, part of it is, part of it is, you can train your ear, and that's. No, oh, Tracy, this is some weird dude's living room. I'm just trying to. It's not David Fuller's living room. I think it's this guy's living room. And part of what we're we're doing is, yeah, but how do I turn that in from a metaphor into something? It's like half study, half bar. This is just what happens when you have money and no taste. Um, so. Um, <laughs> 
I really want to encourage you with what you're doing. And um, I, I think you're putting yourself into... Does this guy seem like he's apologizing for something now? And, um, but if you're a good sailor, right? Wait, what? Um, I, there's a, one of my favorite scenes in Moby Dick, the Lee Shore. What? I don't know what the fuck is going on in this conversation right now. And it went off the rails. <laughs> this is, what, and what's a happening? Storm. And it's outside. Can we go back to the demons? <laughs> is he going to cry? No, we're not going all the way back to the demons. <laughs> but what it has to do is it has to marshal the wind and use the wind to go out to. Listen, you can pull clips from this channel. I'll send you this tomorrow if you want to, like. And I think it is. You want to fuck with the nine people who follow the other show? I can help you. Uh, <laughs> on, on YouTube, you put up the de I, I, the fucking I, demon no, clip. You get like three now, followers out of it. Really reverberating <laughs> in me is like, how do I do what Novel said? How do I virtuously turn? The demon is actually in charge of the rails, HK. The so so this man has escaped the demon, truth. or the daemon. Um, and actually, controlling the rails would be like a daemon because the rails are just the sitting there, and you only notice they're fucked up if like um, something breaks. So, I, I, I deeply uh, empathize. If something goes off the rails, then wouldn't the demon just kill it and restart it on the rails again? Because all of this is, for me, this is... This the is demon made it go off the rails. Central existential virtue question, I think, right now. It's the most exigent, pressing. Oh, well, links, welcome. Be virtuous in what's up, what's up? Kairos. Yeah. Yeah, I want to speak to that because that's... Because I framed it as talking about kind of wrapping up rebel wisdom, but obviously that's in order to, to go yeah. to something else. Yeah, even the demon, the, 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 the room, if there was a demon there, the demon is not haunting this room anymore. The demon has found somewhere else to go. And my piece to hold, I think, is... Is more Listen, I am true. I am truly evil, and I will not to get fucking sit through this. Legacy media attention on some of these <laughs> ideas, some of these practices. Going back. Do you think that's what they're doing? Is this an exorcism of this space? Out into the alternative and coming back with the gold and supporting people like yourself. Yeah, I like think this so. guy called up and is like, "Look, I built a weird bar in my living room, and now it's haunted by a demon, and I need you guys to come over so we can talk about nothing for two hours." And bore the demon to death. The mainstream. They're like, listen, we don't believe the demon will die, but we could surely make it leave at least temporarily. The times we're going through, and that's the owner of this house is like asleep, like getting the first good. That now is no longer a day's sleep of their life. Just an alternative thing. It was an alternative thing. Typing the audio through ever so quietly. It's time to to see how many of those pressure points. We can kind of, we can press on, and there's yeah, w one of those is the media side. Another of those is for me. I talked to Jonathan yesterday about going back into the gender conversation. Oh no! Timely to, to oh no, they're about to do a transphobia. Watch. To go back into there, that uh -oh. in a very sort of mature way. And what does a healthy relationship, what does a healthy conversation between yeah. the masculine and the feminine look like? Because that's a huge cultural pressure point. No, actually. Oh, time for tinfoil. Thanks for the. There is not like a huge, there's no, there's no like cultural like pressure point or whatever when you're talking about gender, unless like you, you think that like, <clears throat> I shouldn't be sexist and I shouldn't be shitty to trans and non-binary people is like a pressure point. Because that's the pressure point, right? Yeah, um, I, I think the pressure point he's talking about is we have one group of people who just wants to like live and be left alone. And then you have another group of people who just can't fucking stand that the first group of people exists. Right. And even if that's like, first no, group you're not living the way I want you to live. Even if that I, first, I want you to live my way. Even if that first group of people doesn't just want to live and be left alone, maybe they want to like shine a little bit and like, you, you know, I don't know put their put what they think out there uh make some art maybe they're a dj who knows what the fuck they're a fucking they're a fucking pop star <clears throat> and they're part of this community and by this community i just mean like people who aren't straight and cis then that's fine too like because every, some people want to put themselves out there and like everybody hell mad about it so like they're not going to get into it though because um 
I would love it if Jonathan Peugeot, 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 like a like a like a Peugeot, like a car. Uh, Peugeot. I would love it if he called them demons, actually, or us demons. That'd be great. He'd be like, actually, the gays are just demons. But I don't, uh, think-, I don't think he believes that. Well, he hasn't said anything that would indicate that he believes that. Background and the stuff that I've been doing with Rebel Wisdom is also feels like something. Thank you for the resub time for Tim Foyle. But your, your, your job is just to recreate the Axial Revolution, John. You, <laughs> you haven't taken on a, a big plan at all yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I do want the Axial Revolution, not the French Revolution. Wait, what? But I love the way you talk when you talk about You don't want the French Revolution. Distributing practices like that has <laughs> to be what it's about. It's like, how do you create those practices of virtue, those practices of connection that then become an embodied living thing that what happened to their audio do you hear it it got muffled all of a sudden it's going to change things yeah it's like they switched yeah, mics that, um, i think we have to recover the, the this is the authentic part so you could you could move up levels of this you know what i think happened their shit broke. they've been talking for so fucking long <laughs> that their wireless mics died the church and the university and they, they always they overlap but so I'm just talking about emphasis. The university, or like the receiver for the three, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. receiver, they're running everything off batteries, which is a bad idea with yep. people who talk for this long. Right, and so we, we, yeah, and now we're listening to them through their fucking laptop mic. <laughs> I don't, I, we, it's absolutely necessary, but I don't know how we reconfigure. This is the authentic part. I also think there's something that they <clears throat> none of that might have happened, and this might be like part of the grip. Where <laughs> this is the authentic part. Oh shit! The daemons all failed. Oh fucking yeah! Good job. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Theta. All the things that were running in the background that they weren't paying that much attention to that made their audio sound pretty good. Those things all failed, and now now it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> no like a good and it mic- was the demons who made the demons fail no but like a good mic is like a daemon right you don't think about it until it breaks yep fuck <laughs> yeah i gotta pee oh fuck there's like a giant orange cat that is gonna be my adversary he's gonna try to get out here i gotta pee though hk i i hate we need to figure out like a way through like web sockets that you just can pause this while uh, and make it play again. It would be a deliverance yeah, we'll for it would be a deliverance for like people who co-stream. Uh, do you run X11? Yes. Okay, I can figure it out. Fuck yeah. It's still happening. Open source. No, fuck that. We'll sell it to other. No, we can open source it and like shill for donations. Elite or irrelevant to people's lives. So how we reconfigure that, um, I don't know. Um, and, 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 but yeah, that's what's needed. Um, and I, 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 the reason why I, I need to talk to people like Jonathan is, I mean, I think Jonathan is tuned, has, has really finely tuned his ear to catch that melody, the first notes. Of I honestly am having trouble hearing what he's saying. But I feel like I'm getting the same impression really important. as someone who could hear what he's saying. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I, I definitely. I mean, it's clearly, I have a, I have a different. I mean, my, my approach is, I is rather. I think that the new world will be given, and I. It's hard for people to understand what that means, but I think that. The world functions, worlds are built on revelations. Like they just are. And, and, and I hate for that. Worlds are built on revelations. Is that what he said? But, you know, that, that's why if you look at, you, if you look at every civilization, it's always ultimately started with like some relation between a God and a human. Like every single civilization. There's always at the outset some demi. All right, I got to grab my controller and press X to doubt again because this guy is saying crazy shit again. In Christianity, we have a sense in which there will be, right? There's an eschatological... Completely doubt. Uh, what the fuck is he talking about? Every civilization started with a revelation from God? What? 
There's a sense in which you have to live in a moment where we're... <laughs> I'm, a let, I'm a let it, I'm not going back. I'm a let it go. Right? In the Re book of Revelation, you see it's... <clears> come, I've seen and heard some the shit, all right? ...saints that are waiting and anticipate, you know, waiting with anticipation and... Are you surprised that, like, just regular-ass people and philosophers and, like, skeptics and just mostly, like, regular-ass people were making fun of this guy on Twitter after this video came out? I'm not surprised at all. Uh, if I had seen this before, I would, I would have been right there with them making fun of this guy. We have to take what is given and we have to make the most of it. And so that's one of the reasons why I, I to me, the best thing I can do is to take this, the Christian tradition and to be able to do what I can to make it as vibrant as yeah. I can and to make it as real. Like with demons. And, uh, and so... <laughs> It can help you understand why, why the, the strategy that I'm. It's not a strategy, but like why I live. The, the, the word Damon might have a whole other meaning. Yeah, but there's a notion, and I and I I, I, I see it in Dionysus. And I'm sure it does, but I choose to believe that they're talking about it's, it's Unix programs. Oh no, there. Somebody in chat was asking if they used that word to troll religious people. I think there's probably oh. another reason, but I don't know. Like a, a, and, and you have to hear in this a, a profound kind of <clears throat> virtuosity and virtue. Like, and, and this is in the key of uh, a key thing in Taoism, by right? cultivating a kind of profound receptivity. <clears throat> There's a lot of ways in which we're. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm. I'm like pretty sure their mics died because they've been talking for so long. <laughs> I'll use your language for now for, for, for hearing the revelation. That is. And so I that is exactly like if you had told me if you had asked me before this show hey who do you think that we follow would talk for so long during an interview that their fucking microphone died i'd be like david fuller <laughs> <laughs> what we can do um about cultivating a deep and profound kind of res uh, receptivity that will be will become responsibility responding the mm -hmm. to respond when whoever whichever weirdo made their living room look like a coffee shop was like you can't run a bunch of cables and shit in here it won't it will lose its motif <laughs> <laughs> it won't look as good if we put a bunch of cables in here <laughs> And then the response was, all right, but we got to keep it under two hours. Like, nope. The new insight, the new <laughs> At about the two hour point, the dude's going to talk about <laughs> demons. So I'm sure we could find another loads of more topics. Yeah. I've been talking for several more hours, but um, this was a fantastic conversation. Really. Was it, David? I don't think it I mean, yeah, no, the, it, it took a while. Thanks for facilitating it. Thanks for making it possible. Like, John, thanks for. It's been great to have real. Yeah. Like, mm. th these these people sadly are not embodied with us right now, but we definitely have been. Wait a minute! Now their mics are hooked back up again. You hear it? Taken all the advantage of actually being in the same space and seeing that. It's just this guy. I think he has a friendly demon that's <laughs> keeping his mic working. I want to say thank to both of you. Like the thing I was feeling to. Wait, are these? Is this all like cranked up from his mic? Maybe. When when you share about your the work that you're doing, both of you, I feel like there's a real sense of like congruence. Your suffering hasn't ended, but your suffering with this has ended. Yes. But the yeah. suffering of this channel has <laughs> not ended. So, Athena. <laughs> yeah. First time, properly. Yeah. And John, always. Well, well thank you, David. It's, this has been wonderful. Um, and, uh, oh, they only has have, it been wonderful though? They only <laughs> have <laughs> the guy that that you were you were shooting eyes at earlier <laughs> just told you he believes in literal demons. They literally only have. Uh, 50 seconds with which to talk about how great it was that they were able to have this conversation. And I think that's just because the cameras eventually ran out of batteries. The dynamic living spirit of it has been fantastic. Um, and, and again, it's always, um, it's, it's, it's a joy to talk to, um, to Jonathan. And, um, and so I do think that I, to use the metaphor, I hear the first notes. In Literally this guy that's going to just cut off. Watch. Uh, in the, when, when dialogos, when the logos really takes over and we're following it rather than just saying what we want to say, 
um, that's where I start to get. I know that you haven't been able to say what you want to say about the other John during this. I understand. First sort of prairie of notes from the horizon. And so it's always uh, a privilege to do that. And I hope that what some we say love will start to hear. <laughs> it is a river. Yeah, see, it just cuts off. <laughs> like <get the> hell <laughs> It really did. <laughs> Do you think the camera actually died right then? <laughs> they just ran out of enough fucking shit where they, like, I don't know, maybe fucking the fucking demon guy's Damon for his microphone just fucking ended. <laughs> I don't fucking know, like, man. That's that when that's when the other microphone died? Oh, my fucking God. I could totally see that. Like, David and the, the professor guy, like, their microphone died around the same time. And then the fucking demon guy's microphone lasted a little bit longer because so they because, almost made it to because the he, had end. A, he had a beneficial fucking demon in the goddamn <laughs> battery. Fuck, that was great. 